when you import FBX animation onto your character, uh, it's possible that those FBX animations don't include the name of the take. So here when I import, I have the name of the file, but the takes are going to be take01, take2, take3, take4. Uh, that maybe because it was exported from a, a mocap stage, or maybe it was exported from a, a Maya, or from the, the game engine, and uh, it, it doesn't know how to name the, the take. So if I import that, I'm going to end up with a, a takes that I'm going to have to rename. To avoid that, what you can do is uh, copy-paste your FBX in a separate uh, folder, so all the FBX you want to rename, maybe paste them on a temp in a temporary folder on your desktop or something. Okay, so we have uh, this folder here. In your Windows Explorer, you want to uh, copy-paste the path of your folder, and then like make sure you save your scene if you have any changes you want to keep and go to the asset browser scripts and then tasks and in tasks you have this default script that's very useful uh, search for rename in, in all that list here you have rename first take on multiple files so you can drag and drop it in the viewport and say execute now it's going to ask you for a folder so you can paste the path that you copied or you can uh, search for it manually of course so in desktop we might rename me uh, folder and say okay and it's going to open up every fbx that you have in that folder and rename the first take of the scene uh, to match the name of the file itself so now if i reopen up my character and if i re-import those fbx from my new folder you can see now that the take is no longer take 01 take 2 take 3 take 4 etc but it's the actual name of the file so now that's going to be way easier to work uh, and edit those uh, those takes in the same scene one note though you can see that in my uh, scene it's uh, saved a uh, .bck folder a backup folder and that's of course something you probably don't need in this case, so you can delete them all. That's why it's safer to do it in a separate folder so you don't uh, break anything uh, from your original folder.